my opinion, what is good about digital portfolios is that it allows students in a professional way to um, basically keep a, a record of all of the things that they've accomplished and the things that they've worked on and the things that they've learned. Um, it's a nice skill for the future in terms of uh, creating, building your own brand um, whenever they move out into the professional world. And, and with these digital portfolios, you showcase the best of their work and, um, and me personally, it goes under multiple and multiple reviews, both peer and by me, so that the finished product is something that they can truly be proud of and they can build on it year after year. And then when they graduate, they have this you know, huge compilation of their best work throughout high school and, and maybe it's something that they'll be able to use in the future. So I'm a huge fan of digital portfolios and I'm really glad that we do them here at Mooresville. For juniors, the digital portfolios benefit kids greatly. We have them do resumes and they put them on these portfolios and these resumes can build next year then for the senior project. Well, the best thing that comes out of these resumes is the fact that kids realize they need to get more involved. They need to become active or not. They have blank resumes which could affect them, what college they go to, everything. We use digital portfolios for our senior projects because we feel like we're giving our seniors a real world experience. We used to have them complete the paper portfolios and a lot of their time was spent doing kind of tasks that perhaps didn't really carry over into the real world. Now they're able to keep their best work, they're able to go back and continue to work on it, they're able to have something that they will be able to save, and we, we really feel with the use of digital portfolios that the students, once they're doing them from freshman through their senior year, that when they leave Morrisville High School, they will have a real authentic assessment piece that shows their best practices from 9th through 12th grade. So we're really, really excited to be able to incorporate these into our senior projects. We uh, piloted digital portfolios this year for the first time in foreign language, partly in response to a curriculum change that focuses more on proficiency guidelines. So we use digital portfolios as a way for students to really demonstrate what they can produce in the language. We want our students to be able to come out of two years of foreign language and be able to speak the language and be able to write the language. And so in order to emphasize those skills, we needed a way for them to demonstrate using work products. So we post on our digital portfolios things like dialogue recordings and movies they've created, um, keynotes that compare cultural um, situations in their target language with here um, in the U.S. And we also have them post reflections, things that show their growth from the start of the semester to the end. For example, in every level we do uh, baseline recordings where they speak in the target language in the first week of class and then they re-record that same dialogue at the midterm and then at the final. So the students really get a good feel at the end for how much they have improved and for how far they've come. And a lot of kids don't really see the point of what you're doing in the moment, but when you give them this portfolio at the end, they can really see how far they've come and what they can actually do with the language. And we found it to be a really great motivator for these kids, especially for continuing on to the next level because they can see their growth, they can see what they've accomplished, and it's a lot more tangible than just this worksheet or that worksheet or this textbook activity. Um, we've also used them within our department for um, checking in with students' ability as they grow from one level to another. We have certain parts of their portfolio are required by the department, certain tasks, and then they choose certain tasks to fill them out as well. So I can go in and look at any of the benchmark tasks for my students who might have had a previous teacher and see how well they did on those benchmark tasks and see what areas they might need a little extra help on. So I can really target my students and see who do I know is going to need more help with the speaking tasks and who do I know is going to need more help with the writing tasks because I have a body of work that I can go to and look at and see how exactly they did in a previous class. The other thing that we are using the portfolios for is to encourage reflection. So at multiple bench points throughout the process they write a reflection on their progress, the areas that they need to improve on, their strengths, and then they use that to kind of encourage an internal dialogue about where they personally need to improve. So the kids are really aware of what they need to work on as well.